beautiful infant in the car and you risk that child's safety by driving drunk and then flip and roll the car over. It just doesn't seem fair to them. A judge giving a tough message to a Green Bay mother in court today after she drove drunk and rolled her vehicle. Good evening, everyone. That woman had both her baby and her toddler in the back seat at the time of the crash. Sarah Montiel was in court for sentencing today. She received nine months in jail and three years probation. The judge told her she's lucky she didn't kill anyone with her actions that evening. Not only did you jeopardize your own children, but there's probably joggers on the road, people are taking a walk, people are walking their dog, and uh, you're driving down the street throwing beer cans out the window. It's something that most mothers would not imagine doing, driving drunk with their children in the back seat. But that's what the court says 20-year-old Sarah Montiel did in May on Green Bay's east side. And this is the result. Her four-month-old baby and two-year-old toddler were in the vehicle when she crashed and flipped the car. This is society's worst nightmare. Montiel was in court Friday afternoon for sentencing and received exactly what the state was asking for, jail time and a lengthy probation period. Her driver's license will also be suspended for a year. Montiel's attorney said the crash was a big wake-up call for her client, and she noted that Montiel had no prior record. Before handing down the sentence, the judge had some harsh words for the young mom. Most mothers would lay down their life for that of their children. And you risk the life of your children so you can get drunk on some beer. And that's, that's what's tragic about this case. To be honest, the children deserve a better mother. They deserve a mother who protects them, not a mother who places them in peril. Now, this story has received a lot of comments on our Facebook page. Here's a few of them. Ashley D. says, thankfully, the children were not hurt. So I understand the sentence of only nine months, but I hope the children were at least taken away from her. And Ashley H. says, she was not only driving drunk, she was underage, and she had her young children in the vehicle. I sure hope she doesn't get her kids back after that. She has no consideration of others and their lives.